Hi, uh, welcome back to Pixel Village. In uh, today's video, we're going to examine how to get the best color out of the camera that you have. It's usually it's your client brings up this particular point to your notice that the color of the sari that you've shot for him is not exactly the color that the sari originally had or the jewelry that you shot the other day for your client mm, was probably not the color was not accurate have you ever wondered why is it happening you have bought the best that money can offer but still there is a shift in color it's by doing a small process of calibration of your camera is how you can get the best result out of the camera let me explain to you by using a small metaphor this time imagine the driving comfort that you had before and after a service or before and after a proper wheel alignment and balancing i'm sure you must have experienced differences like day and night okay it's not any different with a camera in the case of a car it is after a certain interval in the case of photography equipment like a camera it is during every shoot on every change in light conditions you have to make this calibration some are done in the camera some are done in the way you use the camera so the first one is to go to the menu set the image quality to raw this process or this procedure is valid only for the raw shooter the jpeg shooter apologies then you need to make sure that it's an uncompressed raw and also a 14 bit raw which means it in a dslr 14 bit gives you the maximum amount of color information the other thing that you have to do is to make sure that uh, color space you set to adobe rgb adobe rgb by default doesn't guarantee you great colors it only will enable your camera to receive maximum color that a camera can receive. Other important features that you need to be very careful about is to use white balance very carefully. I would encourage you to use the auto white balance instead of trying to guess what the color temperature is. Now, the next thing that you have to make use of something called a color checker passport made by X-Rite. They are world leaders in color calibration. It comes like this in a form of a book with a very hard cover. So the idea is to take one shot with this, then take this off and continue shooting till you change, you know, photographing situation or the lighting situation. So, um, as usual, what uh, this is our favorite subject. Now make sure that this side is pointing upwards. Okay. And that's my shot and I remove it now and now over to the computer to explain to you the process of color calibration. Let me tell you how this exactly works, okay? These set of colors which you see below are industry standard colors. They are pure pigments. There is a particular way the camera captures them, okay? And the software actually measures the difference between the original pigment and the captured values and it creates a profile which you can use in your image as a correction and the technique is compatible or rather that software is compatible only with uh, Lightroom. So uh, Lightroom, let's pick up the white balancing tool and see. So this raw is for white balancing, the, now it's indicated by this face icon here. And the one below is used by the landscape photographers, okay? Since I have shot some pictures inside the studio, I'm gonna pick the one above. If you look closely, you can also see a small difference in the way it is tinted. I mean, this one looks a little warm and it becomes progressively bluer and this is, you can actually see a difference and it's a little bluer. Let's see what happens if I click the warm one, okay? So I got a nice white. Um, let me go back and pick this one you can see it added a little warmth to the image. Let me pick the next one. It's become a little more warmer and a little more warmer. And the last one gives you the warmest white. So it's a matter of choice, of course. Um, I'm gonna pick the one here, which I thought was nice. Okay, the white balance is applied. The next thing that I have to do is to generate the color checker passport profile which will do that magic to your image. I need to go to the file menu, export with preset 
and color checker passport. Now, I got this plugin here because it's a free download. You can go and download the color checker passport uh, software plugin. It downloads and gets installed into your uh, Lightroom. Now, when I click here, it will ask you to name Colorful Bottle Studio and I am going to press save. And here on the left top corner, you will see a status window indicating the profile being generated. You will have to wait for a second. It says color checker passport profile has been generated successfully. Lightroom must be restarted to activate this profile. Say OK. Very simple process. It is done. I am going to quit. Then I am going to go back and restart my software. And uh, there you are. What you have to do is to go to your, uh, your shot, your hero shot, select it, bring it onto your screen, go to your camera calibration menu and apply color bottle studio. There you are. There it is. Voila. Let me go back before, yeah, and after correction. Like I said, differences between day and night. To me, this is the best technique to get your colors back into your image, not the usual practice of pushing up the saturation to compensate for the lost colors. I agree, that is a little bit of a pain, but compared to the kind of results that you're going to get, it's a pain worth taking. So, you have a good camera, get yourself a color checker passport. It's going to make the difference, like I said in the beginning, of day and night. Hope you found this video useful. If yes, please let us know by giving us a thumbs up. Please subscribe our channel and share it. Uh, we will also be interested in hearing from you, your recommendations, your suggestions, your comments, all of that. Uh, and we look forward to get back to you with another video very soon. Bye for now.